Hey Synth UX folks, I've made my extremely crude playable keyboard and what I've got here is the Moritz Klein Schmidt Trigger Oscillator. So the Schmidt Trigger um, quickly fills a cap and then the cap is forced to discharge through a resistor. Uh, that creates this sawtooth wave where it fills quickly but then the diode forces it to discharge through a resistor. And <laughs> In the first part of the video, he shows you how to make an oscillator with a resistor that sets the pitch, and, so, and then he quickly moves on and adds a lot more complexity to make it voltage controlled. What I did is just have many resistors, and uh, these resistors are in, a, are in a train, and each time you press a button, it skips one resistor. So this button skips the first resistor, this button skips the next resistor, and so on. So by pressing the buttons, I can change the pitch and the way that you pick your notes is you tune the resistors one at a time. So when you press this button, it only goes through that, that resistor and you can tune the highest note. When you press this button, it's going through the two trim pots and you can tune the second highest note. Um, so I'm thinking of it like a synth flute because I've been having, really enjoying this, this Duduk and the, you only get you know nine or so notes and they're carved into the wood. So with this synth flute, you basically tune it, you, you get to pick your notes, and you're kind of stuck with those notes. Of course, you can, unlike this, you can always readjust those trim pots, but it's kind of fun to have that constraint of, uh, in, like in this case, you would get six notes, um, so I could tune it to a minor, one octave of a minor pentatonic scale, for example. Um, thanks.